Welcome to Ever After, Once Upon Time Podcast, Season 2, Episode 19, Lacey. In this episode, Mr. Gold asks David for help in jogging Belle's memory. Meanwhile, Anton's magic beans begin to grow, and Grumpelstiltskin goes after a thief. I'm your host, Molly Southgate, and with me is... Martha Southgate. And... Rob Southgate. So we got some new characters here. Uh huh. We met Robin Hood, which yeah. is awesome. Meet Marion. Ma- well, we didn't meet her, but she was there, and we also we didn't get to hear her like have a scene. Right? No, but she was introduced to us. And so was the Sheriff of Nottingham. And Lacey. And Lacey, oh, my not, favorite character ever. Not a fan of Lacey. No, not at all. Mm-hmm. Love Bell, Lacey. <sighs> And Granny uh-huh. says, what, you get into Ruby's wardrobe? Yeah. She thought Belle got into Well, I thought it was Ruby's funny when closet. she says, when, when they were at Except the... Except it would be all red. Mm-hmm. When they were at the rabbit hole, and uh, she's like, oh, you're a Hagar guy, aren't you? Yeah. Where's What's Panama? That? She wanted to listen to Van Halen. She wanted her hard music. What are you talking about? That's what Lacey wanted. Because she was, when they were she in the bar, she wanted like out. rock and music. And Mr. Gold didn't know what she was talking about. Much like you. I don't know what she's talking about. That's right. Good. So I want to talk about the beginning of the episode before we get too far into it. It started off with kind of a shocker, I thought. Henry's birthday. Henry's birthday. And they're all there mm-hmm. with Mr. Gold. And he's being so nice. They're all being so nice. And do you remember what he offered Henry for his birthday? Oh, anything in the store. I, can you guys get a store like that in, the, in it? And then you can have anything in it, but only one thing and then nothing else. Right. So. Yeah, but I'm, I'm your daughter. So I can't say this. <laughs> okay, we'll get right on then. Uh, you can have anything in the bathroom right now. All yours. Except the soap. Yeah. And we need toilet or paper. Or towel or toilet paper. So nothing in the bathroom. Well, there, no, there's a spider web. You can have that. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Here's a spider web. Can I take the sink? <laughs> <laughs> can I take the sink? Wow. So, so we see him, and he says, "Anything in the store? And what is what does Henry ask for?" Oh, wand! I'm like, Dad, it's turning into Harry Potter. Yeah, he takes a wand, mm-hmm. and and Mr. Gold picks up. He goes, well, "Let me show you how it works," and boom, turns him into glass. He turns him into a statue, right? But it was glass, and was then smashed statue. him. Yes, mm-hmm. I freaked, and he said, "Did not know it was a dream." No, and he said, "I was warned that they he's going to be my us, undoing." Like- Right. Uh, they scare us like that, and when the dreams, and then they, the person wakes up, and you're like, that wasn't a dream. That was a dream. <laughs> that was a dream. Thing. So I have two thoughts on what the undoing could be. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Mal? I think it might Does be... it mean he's going to get killed? No. No? I think we'll mean he'll lose his powers. Okay, what about you, Martha? I think it means he's going to get soft and not have, and not want to be so, not want to be so evil anymore. I think it's one of the two. I think it's either he's going to lose his dark one, like it will be what saves him from being the dark one, which I don't know how they can do that without killing him. Or, we may have just seen his undoing, he's been trying to change, and because of everything that's transpired, he no longer wants to change. Mm -hmm. But it's not Henry's fault. So that doesn't make sense. So that doesn't make sense. Why why'd you even pose that, Molly? I didn't say that. <laughs> you said it. How about when uh Bay and Henry are so or play sword fighting? Yes. I that love that. That was cute. That. And Regina comes up to Rumple Stiltskin and asks, Why are they together? Uh, and he says, Oh, I forgot you didn't get the birth announcement. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> and and then she's like, You're why Henry's is, grandfather? Why is your son no, playing with said- my son? Yeah. yeah, and then she said, you're Henry's grandpa? Yeah. And then she said, I guess that makes us, or Mr. Gold says, I guess that makes us family. And she says, so you're playing the part of loving grandpa now? <laughs> <laughs> we know it doesn't even make it to the end of the episode, because now he's murdering somebody outside of a bar. Right. Oh, man. Well, yeah, and it's that very character. Sopranos. It's very Sopranos. That what? character. <laughs> Is uh, it's the sheriff of Nottingham, who we know he was hitting on Belle in Fairy Tale Land in the Enchanted Forest, and now here he's doing the same thing. Like he's always attracted to Belle, mm-hmm. only as Lacey, he was getting somewhere, mm-hmm. and it was funny how it paralleled it because he didn't when he acted 
as a good guy in the Enchanted Forest, Belle said, I see who you really are. It's not what I expected, and it's like, I really like it. Here, when he turns evil, Lacey likes when he's bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's bad, too. So do you think his redemption is over? Or do you think he's going to do these things, she's going to get her memory back, and then she's going to reject him because he was evil? Yeah, I think he's going to do these things. She'll get his, her memory back. She's going to yell at him a lot and then leave him. You didn't rem- remember the yelling part. Right. There's well, no and, yelling. and I have a feeling that he's going to have to work his way all the way back up again. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But uh, in the meantime, they're like, Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, no kidding. She likes somebody who has murder, who has bloodlust like he does. See, he takes out his tongue and then he beats him with his cane and she's like, yeah, I like this. So he's the bad boy. She's trying to uh, Mm -hmm. fix him. I think mom said that about Rumpelstiltskin in the last episode. I might have, but I would not have tolerated that. Okay, so you don't like when he's beating somebody with a stick, just when he's evil and you might be able to change him. All changing rumps. I don't know exactly comes with a price. What, where I was going. I don't know where you're going with either. You said the same thing about Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> you said that with, when me, you, and Allie watched it. Okay, so there might be a little pattern. Yeah, that's why except, she likes me. Except for you. I don't know what I'm happened. I'm the bad boy. I got married a geek boy who doesn't geek do anything boy. wrong. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm bad. I run with scissors. I loved the scene in <laughs> Fairytale Land when... I run. We see Belle, and and she's in a jail cell, and Rumpelstiltskin comes in, and she's crying, and he says... And she's like, oh, you're You're horrible. disturbing me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He said, all of this crying. He goes, I figured you'd cry for your family. He's like, I didn't think you'd cry this much. <laughs> and he said, I can't even spin my gold. You're driving me crazy. So he says, and he oh, gives her a it. pillow, and he says, see, I'm not all bad. And she says, oh... You're giving me some comfort. He said, no, I use it to muffle your cries so I can get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, and then they hear that noise, and they go out, and yeah, no, it's funnier. somebody's robbing them. Uh-huh. What, what was funnier? When he was beating the person that was robbing him, and he came back, I'm going to need a new apron, and there's blood Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that was horrifying. That was funny. It was horrible. <laughs> it was a little bit funny. But he, he did. He, he, he catches him, and we knew right away. They didn't say who it was, but we knew it was Robin Hood. Mm-hmm. And he was stealing a wand, and Rump catches him mm-hmm. and says, anyone that steals from me, everyone knows they get skinned alive. And Bell says, not everybody knows that. He goes, well, they will after they find the body. <laughs> uh-huh. And he, so he steals the wand and gets oh, away. He was wearing the same apron as he was in Storybrooke when he was bearing his dagger. Yes. Oh, good call. That's I don't his notice things like that. I'm, gl- I'm glad we have you here to notice yes. all these things. Um, so Belle let him escape. And and yes. so Rumpelstiltskin now says, well, now you have to go with me to find him and you watch me kill him. Right. Yeah. Wow. No, no, it's worse than that. I'm going to shoot him with his own bow yeah. and then yeah. you are going to use your rags to clean up the mess. Oh, he's so he's awful. He's so awful. <laughs> see, now in that I see the humor. Yes. So I, I would say I would laugh if I were both. Oh. Because I'd be like, really? It's yeah. cute, Rumpel. It's cute. It's endearing. It's endearing. It's endearing. <laughs> so. Oh no. So then, when they My go off, my mom's changing to rumple silk skin. <laughs> right. I'm when Team they... Rump. <laughs> team well, Rumple. Team Rump. Oh, that sounded bad. I'm Team Rumple. Yeah, Team Rump sounds bad. <laughs> oh, it does. Team Butt. Because that's a. <laughs> yeah. So, so you'll be hashtagging hashtag Team Rumple. Yeah. Uh huh. Hashtag so, Team Rump. So they go. Uh, they go out. They track. Him. That's where they run into the Sheriff of Nottingham, who's a, uh, a complete mess, as usual. Well, wait, let me give one line. Yes. Because he says, what would people think if I let someone steal from me? And Belle says that there's a man inside the beast. Right. And I thought that was a very important line. It is. Okay, go ahead. It is. So they, they, uh, they run into the Sheriff of Nottingham. They He wants to make a deal. Rump takes his tongue out and puts it back in as part of the deal. 
And, no, to get uh, him to stop wanting to make right, the deal. Right. He's like, now the deal is you can have your tongue back <laughs> exactly. if you tell me what I want. Because he wants a night with Belle. Right. And, and, and Rump's not letting that not happen. Ha- yeah, he's not having anything to do with that. So yeah, he leads him. just kicked him and punched him in the gut. <laughs> yeah. So he, he leads him to, uh, to Robin Hood. Yeah, he tells and him he to wants go to, to shoot him. Forest. He wants to shoot him with the arrow, and Belle's just like, no, it's not who you are. And what do we see? We see him standing there with the wand. What happens? Well, first of all, we find out that that Robin Hood was trying to save Maid Marian. That's, she was that's what I was asking. And she's pregnant. Right. And and so when he goes to shoot, he pretends to miss. Right. So that he can save their lives. Because what did you say when we saw that? She has a soft, soft spot with kids. We learned that with Henry. Right. And Rumple, not she. Well, I think it was you when said she. <laughs> I think it was when Bell said he has long hair. But you don't hair. want his, his child to be fatherless, exactly. and I think that's that's his where trigger. Where Rumpel Stiltskin was like, I can't do this. Well, and and just like in the beginning of the episode, when when Bay and and Henry are playing together, and he has to kill Henry, and he's watching them, and I'm like, there's no way because he's not gonna, he's not going to make Henry. Right. Uh, he's not going to do that to his son. He's not going to do it to his son, and he's not going to do anything. It's it's That's the whole gonna, father-son thing yeah, no. for him. Right. It's not going to happen. So that's that pretty much is what happens there, where she starts, she's starting to change for Belle. This was kind of the beginnings of him, because when we saw them together before, we saw it a little bit later in the relationship. Mm-hmm. Here we're seeing, this is really early on. She's, I mean, he's so mean about the pillow and everything, and then wanting to skin people, and, you know, but here he's changing a little bit, and she says, I see what's going on. Well, and he gives Belle a library. Yes. And and he says, it's just another room to clean. And he's trying to minimize why he's giving her, you know, that he's giving her a gift, and he's doing something out of The problem is, the fines on his library are just awful. There you go. But she says, you're not who I thought you were, and I'm glad. Right. And that's very important, because that comes up in Storybrooke. Right. So, all right. So, that's the, that's it. That's, that's it for that part of it. For that. And so, back in Storybrooke. Please talk about Storybrooke. Yes. So, Storybrooke, a few very important things happen. Gold okay. goes to see Belle and can we, in the hospital. Can we get off of the, Can we just do the Tamara... Tamara Greg storyline yes. because I'm not a fan. Okay, and and I don't want to end with it. I am not a fan. So you guys I take am that not and run. A fan. Right. Yeah, um, well, I don't even know what to run with. There. Well, they're, Basically, they're going to bring a he, package into story. Right. She says the package is on the edge of town. I thought it was a bomb. And it, well, yeah, because he says, "Is it stable?" And she goes, "Oh yeah." And it's like, okay, she's bringing a bomb to blow up the library. Instead, or who's she, what, what are they bringing? They're bringing Captain. Hook. And he's yes. not stable, so I don't know why he's they were stable. saying, is he stable? Uh-huh. But doesn't she say something like, if if you want to cause trouble, you bring in a pirate? Right. <laughs> Captain Hook is bad. So they're going to unleash him onto Storybrooke to do their bidding. Yes. Okay, end of I wonder if they have his heart. Well, they don't do magic, so they can't have his heart. All right. So, so how are they going to control him? They can't, Even I Regina could, or idea. Cora couldn't control him. How no. are they going to control it's him? It's not going to go well. For t- I'm hoping their storylines en- their storyline ends very quickly. Or, or something They better not happens. be in season three. Yeah, well, just something's not really end. happening with these characters. Yeah, they need to... Yeah. Move Owen, on. nothing's happening with my ear bore. All right, so... Where did you want to go? Well, I want to talk about what, what happens with Lacey, the reason it's called Lacey. All right. So, uh, Gold goes to see Belle in the hospital, and he's trying so hard to connect with her. And she's and, responding. Yeah. Now, I wonder, when she was responding, remember the last time we saw her was when uh, Greg, is that his name, Greg, yeah. Owen, Greg. Uh, was in the hospital and showed her the video of Regina doing the magic. Yes. So I wonder if when she was saying this to him, if she was trying to get him to say something. Because she, she acted did like... did try to get him to say something, and he said, he said, with all the stuff, you've had a trauma, you are, you've right, had right. medication, and all this, he said, in time... All of this will become clear. Right. I just wonder if she was trying to trick him. No. Okay. She, okay. She, and he, he has But she been seemed to be coming around a little bit. to her and she Mom, warmed up. What? You've got to talk about the bar first. So, Belle 
agrees to work with with Mr. Gold, and he's going to help her um, recover her memories, and she's going to help him become a better person because right. he says, "When you're with me, I I I get better, right. and I need you right now." So they're going to work together. He leaves, and Regina comes in. Right, and she and she implants. she drops when well, she drops a matchbook from the from the rabbit hole, mm-hmm. and uh, you see when she goes to pick it up, she enchants it, yep. and she hands it back to Belle. Uh huh. And she says, she says, oh, you know, is this yours? And Belle's like, oh no, it's not mine. She goes, why don't you really look at it? Okay, if somebody says that to me, I know they're enchanting Dropping it, it, and I got to drop Especially it right there. Especially there, where she's seen magic. Yes, I, I, no. I'd be very leery of something like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she, Molly, she looks. Look at Piggy. Oh, we should try that. Yeah, we'll try, we'll try that. Try to enchant Piggy. So we, so she uh, takes Don't you the. Dare enchant Piggy. <laughs> she she takes it and looks at it, and then all of a sudden she's like, oh, "I remember who I am." Boy, she remembers something, doesn't she? So is that who she was in a cell the whole time she was there? She was never Lacey before that that we know of, right? Well, I don't have any idea. She was in a cell that Regina had her in that whole time. So maybe if she had been out, that's, that's the character she would have been. been. But she didn't have that life outside of there. And no one knew her, because right. otherwise Granny would have been like, oh, Lacey's back. Right, No right. one knew her right. in Storybrooke. Right, no one so knew who Lacey she, was. So this was what she would have been. Yeah, she would have been right. bar trash. Basically, Ugh. yeah, just Lacey. yeah, Lacey. So she, so Mr. Gold goes to find her at the rabbit hole. Yeah, and and he's so funny about the rabbit hole. He's like, oh my gosh, he calling hates it a it. dive, and like, yeah. and the, the bartender's like, what you 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 really don't like the rabbit hole, do you? Oh, he really does. <laughs> no, and uh, I, I guess what I said. No wonder the knave lives here. It's a bar. Yeah, right. it does fit the knave perfectly. Mm-hmm. Um, we should have looked for the knave in there. He I wasn't. Bet. I was looking. Were? Yep. So the the knave who shows up in Wonderland, I was he too was busy not my there. Yeah. So Rumpelstiltskin confronts Regina. Mister Gold goes and confronts Regina, and and he's mad at her because she gave uh, uh, of course the, the her curse memories. Right. Of back. course. Uh-huh. And he and he says he's determined to get Belle to fall in love with him, and she's just laughing at him. Right. Yeah, she is. So he has an idea to get charming. Oh, I love this. To help because Charming was able to get his when he when da- when he was David and he was with Catherine, he was able to get his memories back. Right. And so he he wants her he wants uh Charming to help him and he says, I will now owe you a favor. Right. And that's a big deal. He has not owed anybody a favor that I've ever seen. So here this is a big deal that he's owing someone a favor, especially Charming. Uh-huh. You know, because everything comes with a price. Well, that's his price. He has to pay David back somehow. And David gives him good advice. You know, be who she fell in love with. Let her see that person. So he really tries. So he goes with Mr. Gold to be his wingman. Yeah, bar. right. What's and a I, wingman? I lo- someone who helps his buddy get a girl. Yeah, he, well, he's there to, to kind of support Give him. Give him advice. Yes. As things, like, start... To not work like he can say, go back in there and try again. Uh-huh. And uh, Mr. Gold asks Lacey out for a date, and she says, yes, Granny's at 8 o'clock. And Charming says, way to go, Don Juan. And Mr. Gold says, Don Juan was nothing before making his deal with me. <laughs> I love that. I love so that. funny. So, yeah, they, they uh, he does get her to c- convince her to go out for dinner. They yeah. go to Granny's, and he tries to do what he did with Bell, because remember, Bell wanted to try a, a hamburger. She's right. like, "Oh!" So he orders two teas, two hamburgers. He's thinking he's being a very charming guy. No, no, he's not. And he no, well, he was. I don't like when people order for me. It's not attractive. But in their relationship, that's how it works. I don't care. And that is. <laughs> you know what? Are you turning on Mr. Gold? I'm turning on. You're waiting I, for him to be the bad I'm boy again, for aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So he, she says, so no. So she orders the chicken parm. I want chicken parm and, and a, a bottle, bottle of wine. wine. But he, she says to him, are you as bad? As, you know, I, I, I hear all these rumors. And he says, I'm simply a shop owner and procurer of difficult to find objects. Right. Like, she, you know, he's really putting himself out there as. Yeah, as a nice as guy. As a nice guy. Well, 
Okay, have you met Lacey? Yeah. She doesn't want that. So, yeah, she goes, I gotta go to the John. She well, no, leaves. first she tells him, you can't tell what's in a person's heart until you truly know them. And he spills. Which is what Belle had said. What, Mo? And he spills on her because Belle told him that. Yeah, right. And he's so shocked to hear those words come out of Lacey's mouth. Right. That he now sees that Belle's in there somewhere. Yes. Where? Oh, it's somewhere inside a lazy. Deep it, down. Way hidden. So she says she has to the go to the bathroom left. to go clean off the tea. She disappears. Mm-hmm. So he goes out in back looking for her, and she's with Where the sheriff in Nottingham. Was, Kissing him. They what? Canoodling in the uh-huh. parking lot. Hmm. Yep. They <laughs> were. So. Yep. That's all I have to say. Yeah. So he Show's gets. over. He gets upset. Uh, sh- the sheriff in Nottingham, who's a weasel, he leaves. And uh, Lacey tells him, you know what? This isn't working. Right. I never, she only went out with him to be nice. Right. She had no, she was, she had no intention of forming right. a relationship. But she, she's him. not interested in him and it makes him crazy. So what does he do? Well, well, first, first the sheriff of Nottingham came up to Mr. Gold to apologize. Mm-hmm. Right. And then now what did he do? Now what did he, he ripped do? Ripped out his tongue, threw it. He yep. Just, and he says, so no one can hear you scream. Yeah. That he's That's frightening. Beating him. That is really frightening. It's like there's no point to acting like a good guy anymore. Right. And he starts beating on him. And then Lacey comes up. And he's like. Oops. And what does she say? And she says. You're, you're, do you know it? I, you're really not who I thought you were. And I'm glad. And then she says. You're as dark as they say, and he says, darker. Right. Much darker. Which is also what they said in The Enchanted Forest, Mm -hmm. when she said, are you as dark as they say? And he says, darker, dearie, much darker. So, yeah. Yeah. But she she smiles and stands there and watches him beat him. So, no matter what, none of that is going well for anybody in the end. Yeah, no be terrible if Belle got her memory back in the middle of all this. She is going to yell at him a lot oh my and gosh. then leave him. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, that's not going to go that's well for him. It's not going to work out so well. So, um, Snow and Charming take Emma to the Hidden Garden. Yes, where they're growing the beans. So many beans. Yep. And, uh, and then Emma, Emma sees Anton and she says, why are you? And he says, human size? Yeah, human size. And, and she says, yeah. And he says, well, you know, um, Cora. Cora enchanted me. And, and he says, I, he says, I kind of like it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like it. I kind of like it. He likes being human size. It is so funny. And they're working with the dwarves and, and the dwarves are like, come on, get back to work. And he's like, man, dwarves really like to work. <laughs> but he's a dwarf, remember? He's a dwarf now, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Snow... He's a dwarf giant. Snow and Charming... And I think he'll be... He's really a little bit... Only a little bit taller than you. Right. For a giant, that's very short. Snow and Charming try to convince Emma to go... To go with them once the beans are ready. Yeah. And to go back to the Enchanted Forest and take Henry. And now Mary Margaret's on board with it. Because she Mm -hmm. says, it's the only way I can have redemption for my black heart or whatever. But all, up until now, she didn't want it at all. Now she wants to go. I don't want him to go. I, I don't want him to go either. And Emma's like, great. I'm she, from Emma here. doesn't want to go. Yeah, uh-huh. but I think she kind of She is going to. Well, she, she actually makes the mistake of um, when Regina comes up to her and says, how long were you going to keep this from me, that Henry, that this was Henry's dad, etc. Yeah. And she said, I was busy trying to keep you and your mother from killing me and my entire family. Yeah. Yeah, I died laughing. But me but too. she actually slips and lets on to Regina that, that Henry won't be there forever. Right. Big, stupid, dumb Yeah, move. and Regina, of course, knows some. she's hiding something. Okay, so she's on it. So then when she's trying to figure it out, she can't figure Operation it out. Operation Regina. And I thought, right. <laughs> I thought this was really cool when she when they drove up with, with uh, the dwarves and all that after their day of out in the fields and... And Regina walks up, and she puts her hand on the, the pavement. Oh, here, and the let- tire tracks. You remember what happens to the tire tracks? They glow. Right. And what did she do? Where did they take her? To the beans. Right. She followed it right to the beans. And as soon as she saw that, come on, she knows exactly what the story is, Well, right? she put her hand up, because the blue fairy had put a, a spell over it. Right. So that it would cloak it. And she put her hand up, and she could see the rows of beans. Yep. And, uh, 
Yeah. And then she's like, huh? And she walked in and ba-doom. Ba-doom. <laughs> ba-doom. <laughs> right. So we yeah, find yeah. out at the end of the episode, uh, when, when, uh, Neil brings Henry home. Yeah. What was he doing all day? Who was he playing with? August at the park. Yeah, because August is a kid. So now they're buddies. Henry finally has a friend because there are no children in right in a, in Wonderland or in. Uh, well, there are. Hey. We're just not seeing them, but there no, are because somebody eats them. I think. No, I'll tell you why there are. There's Hansel and Gretel. There's Paige. Well, yeah, we saw them. Mary Margaret was the teacher, and we saw all those kids at the school. We're just not seeing them as part of these stories. But we do but know Henry they're there. But Henry doesn't ever play with any of them. No, it's not like when we're watching other shows and, like, there's kids in one episode and then you never see another kid. Mm-hmm. Here, we know they're there. We know they're in town. It's just they're not part of this story. But eventually they could be. Well, now Henry has a playmate. Yes. And they get along very Cause... well. Because... <laughs> and Emma... I can see why. Yeah. Right. And it's driving Emma crazy because she can't figure out what August was trying to tell her. And and who is unsafe? Right. But we know. Yeah, we do. She's unsafe and annoying. And we also know Hook is back. Yeah. But Hook is not an I love Hook, so I'm glad. Yes. He's I'm gonna rev he, up their storyline. I hope he, I hope he gets his hook back. Oh, he's sitting there without the thing on his hand, you know he's like, Oh, where's my hook? So mm-hmm. that's it. Did you guys have anything else you wanted to talk about in that episode? No, I'm no. just excited for the next mm-hmm. episode. I read. I'm gonna be happy that Hook's back. Yes, I read the spoiler. Uh oh. For the next episode. Uh oh. That Uh-oh. that Regina is now working to try to get Henry out of Storybrooke. She's gonna oh. kidnap him. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Okay, okay. So we gotta let's, watch it. Let's wrap this up, and then we can watch the next one. So, thank you for listening, everybody. You can find past episodes of this and all of our podcasts at our website, which is... www.southgatemegroup.com You can find us on all the different social media platforms, from Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, just Facebook. Just type in Ever After, the Once Upon a Time podcast, or Southgate Media Group, and you'll be able to find us. And once you find us, there's all sorts of stuff there. I was actually talking to somebody today that went to our website and said, oh my gosh, I, like there's blogs, and I just, there was so much to look at. We're just at the beginning of adding that kind of content, so a lot more is coming. And we have a YouTube channel that's just starting to ramp up, so pretty soon you'll be able to watch stuff that we put together on our YouTube channel. Once again, it's just under Southgate Media Group. Okay, let's end this the way every great fairy tale ends. Oh, before we do that, Find us on iTunes, rate us, review us, find us on Stitcher. You can give us a thumbs up there. That helps and it draws other people to us. We're on all the different directories. If we're not there, let us know and we'll get there. Now, Laffy, we can end this the way every great fairy tale ends. Happily ever after. The The end. end. If you would like to donate to help pay for this and other Southgate Media Group podcasts, simply go to our website, southgatemediagroup.com, and click on the Donate button. It can be as little as a dollar or, well, as much as you want. (laughs) Help keep this fun going by supporting this and our other shows. Thanks again for listening, everyone. You're the best fans in the world.